Hey guys, it's Bra and Wolf Lover, and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a what to bring when you go filming, and this is very similar to what to bring to a model to a live model horse show, but it's not to a show; it's to filming. So um, this video is probably going to be very long. I can feel it already, but we will get through it together. Just sit down, relax, and we can do it. Also, guys, this video mainly specifies towards people who go to a location to film that's pretty far away, like 30 to 45 minutes away. So if you film in, like, your house or your backyard, this doesn't really apply to you. Because you can easily just go back inside or go into another room and get what you need to get if you did forget anything. So this applies to people who go, like, very far away from their houses to go film. And to people who have like, I guess if you have like a huge backyard with like acres and acres of land, in that case you probably live in the country and I'm jealous of you. So anyways, this video is going to be breaking down into six categories and without further ado, let's get started. So obviously you want to bring your camera and you want to make sure your battery is fully charged. You can also bring more than one battery if you feel like you're going to need one. Make sure that you keep your battery out of the sun because it can overheat and not work properly so keep it under some shade. Also if you feel like you need more than one SD card you can bring those as well but I never usually need more than one. For your camera, it's important that you clean your lens before filming, just so the picture is clear. What I like to use is a cloth that my dad uses to clean his glasses. It works great and it doesn't harm the lens. You can easily bring these along with you in your pockets. Also, make sure you bring a lens cap if your camera has one, especially if you're filming where the sun's out and it's bright, because the UV rays can damage the lens of your camera. If you don't have a lens cap, you can just put your camera in some shade when you're not using it. Also bring tripods because you're definitely going to need them. If you don't have any tripods like me, you can just use boxes or books. Now on to packing all of your camera equipment. You can use a camera bag, which they pretty much sell anywhere, but since this is for my other camera and it's too small for my Canon, I have a separate bag for my camera, equ camera equipment. It's smart to pack all your camera equipment in one bag, that way you're not going through the other bags trying to find what you need. Now for your script. Bringing a script is obviously very important. You can either type yours or write it down. I like to do both. If you type it, you can easily print it out and bring it with you when filming. If you want to go the extra mile, you can buy some sheet protectors and slip them in, put them in a binder, and you're good to go. But if you're writing your script, you can just take your journal or notebook with you when you go filming. Bringing props is a very important thing to not forget. It sucks when you're out in the woods and in the middle of filming a scene and you forget a very important prop. And since you're far away, it's not so convenient going back to get whatever you forgot and returning. So before you leave the house, make sure that you have all the props you need, whether it be weapons, clothing, or scenery props. To pack props, I like to use a separate bag and since the props I use are never really big, the bag I use is usually small. A cool thing you can also use are these containers from Walmart. They come in different colors and are only one dollar each. They easily open like so and they're very secure. I'm not sure if they're selling them, you can probably find some online. Now, obviously, bringing your horses to film is a no-brainer, and I couldn't imagine someone who forgets to bring a certain model. But if this has happened to you before, bless your heart. For packing your model horses, this is pretty important since most people don't want scratches or any flaws on their models. But if you're one of those people who don't care, I guess you're a rebel. I always used to pack my models in clothes, but now that I have pony pouches, I am definitely going to use them. I haven't used them yet, so I'm excited to use them when I go film Faith and Hope. I didn't buy my pony pouches, I made them in fashion design when I was supposed to be working, but I was like, you know what, let's make some pony pouches. And they're simply made out of fleece, thread, and velcro. 
I would show you how I made them, but I don't have a sewing machine at my house, so I'm sorry. But there's probably some tutorials on YouTube. If you want to buy pony pouches, Briar sells them on their website, and they come in different patterns and sizes, so I'll put a link to their, description, to their website in the description. To protect your models on camera, you can use filming booch, which protects um, their hooves. I made a tutorial on how to make them, so if you want to check that out, I will also put a link to that video in the description. Okay, on to clothing. Clothing is really important when you go filming. If it's hot outside, the best thing to wear is a light shirt, like a tank top or spaghetti straps, and light colors like white. You can wear shorts, but for me, my location has a lot of tall grasses and pointy bushes and stuff like that, so my legs get all scratched up and start to itch and become irritated, so I have to wear jeans no matter what. For shoes, don't wear flip-flops, unless you're filming at the beach or someplace like that, then don't do it. Instead, wear boots or tennis shoes. I usually like to wear my combat boots just because they're easy to wander around in rough terrain and they protect my feet. If it's cold outside, wear clothes to keep you warm, like jeans, sweaters, long sleeve shirts, hoodies, boots, and so on. If it's really cold, then bust out the gloves, scarves, and hats. But remember, if it's too hot or too cold, then it's probably not smart to go out and film because we don't need anyone getting a heat stroke or hypothermia. So when in doubt, don't go out. That was really terrible. If it's raining or misting outside, then you would wear a raincoat, some jeans, and boots. And bring an umbrella, but obviously if it's pouring outside, then why would you go film anyways? Now last, but not least, is food! Ah oh, yes, our favorite. So I don't know about y'all, but when I go out filming, I get really freaking hungry. If the weather is nice out, you can bring some granola bars, or some chips, or pretty much whatever you want. But if it's hot out, remember to bring some cold water that's been in the freezer, so it's not hot when you drink it. Um, because water is very important, you can also bring Gatorade, which is just as good. If it's cold out, you can bring some hot beverage to keep you warm, but remember, when it comes to food, you can bring pretty much whatever you want. Just make sure to keep all your food in bags or containers and sealed when you're not eating it because when you're outside, bugs will get into it and it's not fun. I don't recommend bringing a full-on meal because that does waste precious filming time, so it's good to just bring a quick snack when filming. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was very helpful and it helped you out and you're not going to be forgetting anything when you do go filming. And if you are starting, first starting to film, I wish you the best of luck and it can be very fun or very frustrating to where you want to beat the crap out of your horses. But anyways, thank you again for watching. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you. I can't remember if I said that or not. And comment down below what you thought of this video. And yeah, just comment your thoughts because I get lonely sometimes. And I need people to talk to. Trust me, that was not supposed to be creepy. So anyways, thank you again for watching. I will see you all in my next video. And yes, stay gold.